Hello fellow wet shavers, Libra here and Nomeo Shaves back with another shaving video. How was everybody today? <clears throat> Pardon me. Kind of fighting a little bit of uh, head coldish action here, but uh, that's not what this video is about. This video is about shaving, so let's get into what I'll be using. As you guys know, this is um, Sterling September, so I will be featuring Sterling products throughout the month of September. Um, the last video I did... Um, Oh, Ramblin' Man, which is a fantastic scent based on a Creed, Himala Creed Himalaya scent. So today's soap is, hands down, it really is my absolutely favorite scent. Um, Sterling Gentleman. This here is actually an original scent that Rod created himself. And it's his take on a tobacco. Um, I don't know how to explain it. It's got, it'd probably be on more of the sweeter side of a tobacco scent. Um, it's got a bit of musk in there. It's got some vanilla. Uh, I wouldn't call it, it's not a pipe tobacco. I have no idea what kind of tobacco it is, but it's nice. It's beautiful. It's not a burnt tobacco, but it's beautiful. Beautiful scent. Um, scent strength is a good six, seven on the on my scale. Um, I did mention in a comment, I believe, that I will be going with this bad boy. This is the Feather SS, and it has a Kai Captain Pink blade in here and as you can see from those dots this will be the seventh use these are pretty simple they just you just pinch the sides right there and it opens up and you just drop the blade right in easy peasy lemon squeezy brush sterling bore there you go all right let me go ahead and i'm going to put this blue monitor on and we shall get cracking Been a while since I've used this scent. Some might find it a bit much for the summer. So that's something to keep in mind. But for me, I don't care. Let me go ahead, I'm just going to add some cold water to the brush and get it cold. I like cold water shaves. <clears throat> Alright. Alright, so well, so how is everybody? Hope you all had a great weekend. Oh, by the way, as you can tell from the background, I am still at home. Um, I didn't end up going... To Oregon last weekend my boss had me trade with a co-worker because of um, another issue that was going on up, up there he's got a particular skill set that the customer likes and this the guy that went up there before me he's been around for a long long time and the customer knows him really well so that's okay I get an extra week with my family so I'll be going out there Sunday no biggie right that's probably enough Let's go ahead and put all this yummy proto lather on. So, I have had a few new subscribers, so thank you. I do appreciate that. Um, those of you that are new, not sure if you had a chance to go back and watch some of my first videos, but um, I basically started this channel to track my progress and record my progress and share my progress on learning the, the Kamasori Shavette, the, the razor that I'm using tonight. Um, my first Shavette was a CJB that I had bought in Korea. Um, they are Korean made, it's Korean design, Korean manufacturer. You know, it's at that time it was probably the best bang for buck out there. I got one in Korea for like twelve dollars, <laughs> but on average they go for around thirty. 
Now, after a couple of years doing this, I've been able to find a cheaper one. One that's a bit better quality, I think anyways. And that's one that I, I tend to recommend a lot more now. <clears throat> In the US, you can buy it on Amazon for 20 bucks. I'm not sure how much it would cost in other countries. It's a great little shaver. That's the one that I use for travel. CJB I had retired. I should pass it on to someone. Great little razor though. For beginners. It's enough to um try and not feel like you wasted a bunch of money if you didn't like it but in that time so in that time I have been able to get my hands on a real Japanese kamasori which is a Japanese stainless razor or stainless steel razor um, haven't had a chance to use them a whole lot because they weren't sharp enough for me or I jacked up the edge. So that's where I'm at now. In that two years time, I've gotten, gotten into straight razors. And I always do DEs. When I first started wet shaving, it was all DE. First DE razor was a... Uh, Merker 34C, still have it. My wife got it for me. That's a brief little history. <laughs> oh, and by the way, if you don't know, I'm a menthol head. I absolutely love it. All right, so first pass with the grain. Can't see. And uh, also to you new subscribers, I, I, I think I mentioned this in the beginning of the video, I'm a huge, huge Sterling fan, huge. They are probably the first artist, artist and soap that I tried, and I just fell in love with that. I was piffed um, some sterling soaps through um, Badger and Blade. I won a little piff thing that they do. <clears throat> So this razor is going out. Oh, sorry, the bleed. <clears throat> yep. So right here, my 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 uh, growth is extremely coarse. <clears throat> That's one spot that I have a lot of trouble with when it comes to um, straight razors. Most of the time, shavettes don't have an issue until the blade is going out. So once again, Thank you to the new subscribers. I do appreciate it. I've mentioned it before, but I <laughs> it's been a long time in the making, but I am planning a giveaway since I made 500 subscribers. It feels good to use one of these again. 
Yes, I've got a. It's not going to be a huge giveaway. You know, I'm going to make it where it's okay for international, so there'll be no splashes. I haven't decided how I'm going to do it yet. I want to make it kind of interesting. I don't want you to just to post, I'm in. That's no fun. But whatever I do, I'm probably going to have to um, do something where you have to email me and I'll sign you a number or something like that, right? So, so be ready for that. <clears throat> The one reason why it's taking so long is um, I am waiting for Rod over at Sterling to release another scent. It's something I, I want really bad. He's doing a, a dupe on Creed um, Centel Absolute. So I kind of like to do just one purchase, right? That way the shipping isn't so expensive. I'm not the I'm not the richest person in the <laughs> on on the wet tubes. That's pretty good. Let me go ahead and rinse off and go for round two. Yeah, so the giveaway I'm planning a, a soap, shavette, blades, uh, maybe a little something else. I haven't decided the full, full kit yet. Like I said, it will be big. And I haven't decided on how to do the contest yet. But I got time. Probably got like a, maybe a month. Oh, it feels good to use this again. Jeez, I miss these kind of stories. Oh, I didn't say how much growth I have. <laughs> I didn't, I, the last time I shaved was Saturday. This is Tuesday. Yeah, I had a, uh, Housewoman party to go to on Saturday. Saw some good friends, some old friends, people I haven't seen in a little while. It was nice, so I had to do a quick shave. It was a DE shave. Use my fat boy. Use the fat boy in a Kai, kai blade. For some reason, that combination just did not work for me. The blade felt really, really rough.
So if you're curious as to why sterling is my number one soap, <laughs> well, consistency, scent choice, customer service is off the hook. And performance is just outstanding. Go ahead, go ahead and lather for the final pass. Sterling does like a drink, so keep that in mind if you think you might be struggling a little bit with Sterling. I know some people, they felt that there wasn't enough slickness, but they didn't, they should add more water. One example is um, Rudd's Shapes. Um, he recently re-evaluated Sterling and he added more water and he gave it a higher score. That's saying something. Yeah, this blade is gonna have to be changed. Now, if you're not afraid to spend money, one of these is fantastic. I was blessed, and this was actually passed on to me by uh, Trevor Bailey. Unfortunately, he's no longer making videos. <clears throat> he's gone dark, unfortunately, which is pretty sad. But sometimes life just gets in the way, right? And he's a he's a diehard family man, so he'll put his family before anything else, and I'm sure that's what's going on. Beautiful, beautiful shape. I watched a Shave and Butcher video yesterday. His freaking jokes just cracked me up. You guys have to go check him out if you haven't. Shave and Butcher. The dude is freaking amazing. He's got Parkinson's and he shaves with a straight razor. Come on. Right, I like to rub, take out the extra soap from the brush and just give me a give my face a little rub down. There we go. And then everything's off. I got a question for you guys. My next shave <clears throat> gonna be Sterling, obviously. Now, do you guys want to see menthol or regular? And if you want menthol, do you want glacial or just a regular menthol? And then, if you don't want menthol, 
Now, if you decide on a regular um, sterling soap, would you like their standard base or do you want the mutton base? Let me know down below. And if you care, do you want to see a straight razor? Do you want to see um, another shave edge shave? I've got a couple shave edge. Just chime, in, chime down below what you guys want to see. Um, I did a, a Dentour video maybe six months ago or something like that. So I can give you an idea of what razors I have. <laughs> all right, everybody. Uh, let me do a quick little recap, all right? Brush of the evening is the Sterling Bore. <clears throat> this really is a good bore brush. Um, I had mentioned it before. It's a bitch to break in. It takes a long, long time. But actually, it's it's totally worth it. This is roughly 85-90% broken in. Um, but it's it's getting there. It's freaking sweet right now. Um, I would say that this particular knot is the best qualities of an Omega and a Samoke. That's my opinion. But it's definitely well worth the eight or nine bucks that you're going to pay for it. <clears throat> Razor. Feather Commissory. This is the Feather SS model. They have a DX, which is like triple the price. Um, I don't have one of those. <laughs> I probably won't get one of those. <laughs> um, and the soap of the evening. Sterling, gentlemen. You guys saw me rinse my face off. I can still smell it. It's, it smells fantastic. Um... I do have a matching splash for it, but those of you guys who have been watching me the past, I don't know, three, four months know that I don't use splashes anymore. I just use sebum. <laughs> That's how good that stuff is, in my opinion. But Sterling, this is this is really my favorite scent. Um, there's a very another soap called <clears throat> Varen, which is a very, very close second. But this one's just edges out ahead of it, maybe because of nostalgic reasons. This is one of my first ones, and you know, this goes from there. All right, everybody, that's my shave. I hope you all enjoyed it. Sorry for rambling a little bit, but this was a good shave. No blood. Sorry, Jill, no blood. Um, but yeah, damn near BVS. This is what I what I go for. This is Leroy signing off. I hope you all have a fantastic night, fantastic week. This is Tuesday. I will try to get another shave in Thursday or Friday before the weekend. Um, I need to do a live shave in the uh, Facebook group. It's been a while. We'll see what happens. Um, as I had mentioned, I am heading to Oregon on Sunday for about a week and a half. So hopefully I get one more shave from home. And until then, until then, everybody, take care of yourself, love one another, and don't text and drive. Bye-bye. <laughs>